right, next up we have Josh Owens. Josh is from Differential, and uh, by the way, nice shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to be telling you a bit about the, uh, the testing initiative that is uh, starting to coalesce, and it's called Meteor with a Side of Cucumber. So um, Meteor with a Side of Cucumber, I am Josh Owens. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on GitHub. Um, created crater.io with telescope, pretty awesome. Um, we do, Ryan and I do the Meteor podcast every week, meteorpodcast.com. Um, and then we, we build full-time packages at differential.io. And um, I guess about a couple months ago, we decided to write a testing book. I don't know why, we, we, we missed testing and really wanted to get, get back to it, so <laughs> decided we'll write a book. Like, let's just wing it and see if other people are interested too, and it turns out people are, so um, we kind of got involved with that. Uh, the other thing is we wanted to build an app um, called Microphone, kind of like Telescope or Microscope, and it's for podcasting. Um, so we've been doing that like lunch and hack once a month, just building an app live uh, an hour at a time. And uh, I think we'll get it done the next hour. So it'll be about three to four hours total into the app. Um, and we're using that as an example for the book. So um, what is Cucumber? Cucumber is a, a syntax that allows you to work with business development people or uh, project managers, product managers. They can write a simple English syntax that translates into testing steps that you know you can automate to test your app. Um, and then the other piece of this is velocity. And there's going to be a talk next month uh, where Sam is going to go into more detail about what velocity is. But you'll get to see it here in a second. Um, it's a test runner that allows you to uh, use a framework. And you can just say, like, MRT add um, Cucumber in this, this instance. And it'll install it and, and start running your test for you. So. Let's see what that looks like. So there's the test runner dot. And then the feature is the kind of like the description of what it should do. And then the scenario is like the individual step. So like the edge case or the corner case that you might be testing against. So in this instance, given three episodes exist, when I go to the home page, then I should see three episodes with titles. And so I, at first I had it at four, changed it to three. And you can see like it automatically updated, very reactive, very meteor-like. Um, updated the web page. Uh, let me pause this. This is a little more explanation here. Uh, and these are the steps that are hooked up. So, uh, in the scenario you saw before, I said, uh, given three episodes exist, when I go to the home page, I should see three episodes with titles. So, what we're really doing is we're destroying any episodes we had, creating all the episodes, and then we're done with that step. So, we issue a callback. And then the next step, we go to the home page. And then the last step, we check. We use Zombie here, which is like a Selenium or PhantomJS or something. And we query for all the H3s that are inside an article. And then I'm just checking that I see the right number. And then if I get the right number, I just issue a callback. If I see the wrong number, then I, I issue a fail, which causes the test to fail. So I guess that's about it. It looks like I'm out of time. Um, this stuff is all brand new. Uh, can't advance slides. You can see, like, Cucumber has only had six downloads. Um, Velocity's had 50 downloads, so this is, this is all brand new, and we're, we're still working on it. But, you know, we think, it's, we think it's good so far. And if you're interested, we've got a book. There's three and a half chapters on testingmedia.com. Sure. Uh, question mainly about Cucumber. Mm -hmm. Have you actually seen pe business people actually use it? I have, yes. So the question was, have I actually seen business people use Cucumber? Um, so I've, I've been using Cucumber. I came from Railsland and been using Cucumber for a long time. Um, probably the instance where I've seen it work most with business people is when I've worked in individual companies that were building one product and they had a product manager. Um, in the client world, it hasn't worked out so well. They usually don't have that kind of education on, you know, thinking through, 
I guess, the steps in that way. Um, so usually we'll have someone like a, a project manager kind of helping them work through that. Sure. Uh, I tend to use both Cucumber and Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the question was, uh, does Jasmine work with Meteor? Actually, uh, Sam, the guy that wrote Velocity uh, and has been kind of leading the Velocity group, he wrote RTD, and he's been working on Jasmine Unit. And uh, that w also works with Velocity. So, so yeah, you can use Jasmine. Sure. Uh, do you have a plan? When are you going to release the group? Uh, so the question is, when are we going to release the book? So um, tentatively, it's like June, end of June, beginning of July, August. I, I, I don't know. Like, you know, I'm working hard on it, but there's there's a lot of like um, discovery going on, like. I was literally the first person using Cucumber, and there were like five things broken, and they've been fixed, and it's great. But you know, at the same time, like there's very little documentation on on a lot of the frameworks, so it's really just a lot of discovery and learning at the same time as writing. So, do you still get early access? Do you still get early access? Yes, right now. If you go um, to the testingmedia.com, you can purchase it. It's 29 bucks. You'll get the book delivered right to your email. If you Put in your GitHub username, you'll actually get access to the repo, and uh, you can follow along as we're, we're developing it. I push a couple times a week, so. Yep. Thank you. All right.